The company Banggood has once again asked me to do another product review for them, which means I get to choose a product, they send it to me, I do a video on it, and I don't have to pay any money for something that could potentially help the channel a lot. So basically everybody wins except for those of you who don't care about this stuff. And I try to make these as funny and interesting as possible, so we'll have some war footage and whatnot sprinkled in here as well to try to liven things up a little bit to take your mind off this goofus. But regardless, I needed to choose a product, so I went with something that would help the channel, and thus I went with the SteadyVid EX camera stabilizer thing. It's basically a handheld gimbal, but it doesn't work like an electronic gimbal or anything where you have to fuss with batteries and wires and worry about it breaking when it's basically all stabilized through the power of gravity and weights and measurements and stuff that's far beyond me. But this is the actual product right here, and you can notice that I have my nice fancy phone sitting on top of it. And well, if I hold this thing, you'll notice that it's relatively smooth. And that's what it does. The footage from this thing, because it's weighted and it doesn't have to deal with all the little jittery movements your stupid body makes, well, it smooths all that stuff out for you so you can get a relatively good picture. And better yet, that means that you have to use less time if you have actual recording editing software like Sony Vegas and Adobe After Effects and all these crazy things that have like warp stabilization and other black magic wizardry that allows you to remove that kind of shaky cam footage that you get if you strap a GoPro to your head and do your videos like that, which I, I mean, some people dig that, but honestly, the reason why you never really see much GoPro footage from me is because recording it and then like trying to edit it is an absolute nightmare because it looks like crap and I just can't do it. So I got this thing thinking that if I'm not playing, I can be on the sidelines, I could still stay in the action and watch everything and record it with this nice, fancy thing. And while it's cool that the other gimbal works with my GoPro, well, this works with not only the GoPro, but it works with my phone, and it also works with DSLR cameras like the one I use now, as long as those are like 2.1 pounds. It's a lot of stuff, and this thing costs like 36 bucks. It ships from China for free, so you might have to wait a little while for it, but that's not bad at all. If you're interested in this, there is a link down in the description below, and long and short of it is, it's pretty darn cool. Is it perfect? Heck no! But it does work, and that's the most important thing, especially for the money that you're paying. And the main thing that I have a problem with right off the bat is that if I show you this box, well, this is it. You get this, you get the contraption itself, and you get the phone attachment, which is spring-loaded and works with pretty much any phone on the market. And you also get this little GoPro mount right here. All of them screw in using the standard tripod measure, like, screw thing that every camera ever pretty much has. I mean, it works, and that's the most important thing. The worst part is that it takes forever to balance your camera, and every single time you think you have it right, you don't, you have to work on it again, and keep working on it, and you can perfect it, and you have to try to measure, like, oh, I need to have the handle in this spot, not up here, and this thing can be farther down or farther up, and I can remove a weight, and there's a lot of fidgeting, but that just means that you can get, you know, the fine-tuned thing for the footage that you want to have. So, I mean, really, I'm just complaining about nothing. I'm complaining about having to do a little bit of work. I mean, the gimbals are cool, but they work with, like, GoPros if you want for your, want for your phone. It only works with certain phones, and they're super expensive, and this is cheap. 36 bucks. So, yeah, the box doesn't have any instructions. <sighs> In fact, every single thing about the box is right here. There is a description on the side of it that basically says what it is, and that's it. In fact, I can read you the exact instructions on the box, which is located down here with three bullet points. Attach camera, adjust counterweight until center of gravity is reached, tighten counterweight to hold in place. That does not help anyone with anything ever. And I had little to no idea of how to actually work this thing when I got it. I had a vague idea, but basically no real concrete. It took a long time to figure out how to get this thing to work. And the entire point of it is that you kind of play around with it until you get what you want. And even when you get what you want, you probably still have to work with it some more. But again, it's one-handed, 
it works well, and you can always tune it. You can always get better stuff. If I wanted to spend the time to find the absolute perfect center of gravity for this thing, I totally could. But from the footage you're about to see, it works. It just works. Yes, it's a little, you know, weird when I'm, you know, moving around, but the thing centers, like I can shake it really bad and it recenters fairly quickly in like a second or two, which is pretty much what you would expect. And while it's not meant for like running or anything like that, you can do some basic slow movement. You could do panning shots. You could do all sorts of stuff. And if you really need to, you could easily rotate it and turn it and give it just a little bit of touch to get it to go exactly where you want it. I have had a lot of issues like with the panning too high and really before anything, you have to make sure it's level. And thankfully the thing includes a level right here. That's absolutely perfect. And again, everything on this is customizable. You can change where the center of gravity is. You can change how much weight. You can change where the grip is. You can change how tightly the grip balances on this ball socket joint here. You can choose, there's like a whole crazy thing where you can move the camera, you know, the mount anywhere you want. It's got so many positions left or right, back and forth. It's a lot of stuff. And then of course you could just untie this or unscrew that. You can fold it back together and it folds up and you can place it in your camera bag and you don't have to worry too much about it. There's a lot of stuff going on here, but it's all mechanical. It's really simple to understand how it's supposed to work. It's just, it requires a lot of fidgeting. Now, mostly I have used this with my phone because my phone was my main recording device for some time and it works. Honestly, I will, you'll never see me hold my phone out again trying to record stuff. I could just use this and slowly pan and show everything that's going on. And that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And it works with my new camera, which is the best, although it is a bit front heavy. Not necessarily a horrible thing because the default kind of range where this thing sits, where it's supposed to do like the gravity centering thing, it's a little high. Now you can of course like bend down and stuff like that, but you can't really point it down so much. You can, now, like obviously I'm doing it, but then it's not balanced on the center of gravity. It will still help, it's better than hand holding it because there's a lot of weight here to absorb lots of impact and little minor vibrations, but it's not optimal. The optimal thing is to have it like this and do your panning and have your all kinds of stupid, you know, crazy camera shots and whatnot with it. It makes things look a little bit better, but for the kind of shots I'd use when I'm like, you know, going over a blaster laying on the concrete or something like that, this thing did not help me at all. I mean, if I could set up like a wall and have the blaster facing there, this would help a lot, but I don't have the space for that right now. So my main use for this thing is when I go to wars, like the one that's coming up in December in Washington for, I think it's Warden, Holden, there will be a link a video on that very, very soon. But the point is, is that when I go to this war, this is what I'll use when I can, you know, when I don't want to play or when I'm tired, I can just walk around and film other people playing and I can hand it off to somebody and they can record for me and all that crazy cool stuff. And I mean, it works. 36 bucks for this. There are some that are cheaper and some that are more expensive, but I haven't really seen one with this kind of degree of customization and features. And most of the time you look at reviews of those, it's hard to tell if they're any good or bad because everybody's just complaining about not understanding how it works. This thing, for what I paid, which is nothing, but what you would pay 36 bucks, I was already looking at buying one, so it was just kind of a godsend that I got it for free. Is this one the best one? I can't tell you that. But I can tell you if you're looking for something like this, it works. And that's probably the most important thing. I've tried and tested it, I mean, I, I don't really know what else I could say about that because it does, in fact, work. If I had any criticisms whatsoever, it's that there's no flipping instructions and not everybody is smart enough to figure this thing out the first time. And it can be frustrating when you have to constantly toy with absolutely everything to get it exactly where you want it. And even then, it's not really meant for you to run around and do all this crazy stuff with. It's meant for you to kind of stand around and hold it or do some very slow, gradual movements with it to get the shot that you want. It's not a replacement, it's just something that helps you if you do some handy cam footage. So if you do spend your time kind of standing around filming stuff, it works good and it's way better than holding it or anything like that. And it probably works a lot better than something that you could DIY. While you could probably find plans to make something out of PVC and washers and all this crazy stuff online, 36 bucks for free shipping or 37, one of the two. 
and it would still cost you $10, $15 in parts anyway to get that done in a bunch of time when this works and you can customize this exactly how you want with uh, the other thing you have to kind of gradually cut things, fit it together, adjust the it's That would be a pain in the butt. This is just an all-in-one package. So while I probably would have just bought something off Amazon that does the same thing, I'm glad I got this one because I get to use it and I didn't have to pay anything. And from what I've seen, the ones I looked on Amazon that were around the same price were a lot smaller. They didn't offer the ability to use DSLR cameras and stuff like that. And they didn't have things like, oh, you can choose where you want the grip and you can choose the center of gravity and so forth. It just had adjustable weights and you can slide your thing around. So. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with it, but let me know what you think about the SteadyVid EX camera stabilizer down in the comment box below. And of course, if you have any questions whatsoever, I'd be more than happy to answer all of them in any way that I can. Again, I am not any kind of authority on this stuff, but I do thank Banggood for sending me this device. It will get a lot of use, and I hope that you appreciate the smoother camera footage in the future and not bouncy GoPro craziness. <sighs> If not, there's a dislike button there for you as well. I'm an idiot, so, I mean, this kind of thing, I'm probably using it completely wrong. It's probably supposed to be upside down or some kind of craziness. I have no clue. Again, some freaking instructions would help so much. I woke up at 7. Thank you very much for watching this video, and of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. If this isn't your shtick, I'll have another video out in a little bit that's completely Nerf-related.